Hello from the closet. David, I wanted to just say congratulations on 30 years at KDKA. That is amazing. You are such an excellent reporter and anchor, and I feel so lucky that I get to work with you every day on Pittsburgh Today Live. I wouldn't trade our team for the world. Congratulations, David. What an amazing accomplishment. I can't wait to celebrate you in person. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Selena, really. That's that's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. You, I love working with you because you always have such enthusiasm and it just bubbles over and it's infectious. And speaking of bubbling over, you're outside with Dave Kiawe and that must mean <laughs> you're gonna make some drinks out there. Oh, David, we are making drinks for you today. We're cheersing to you on 30 years. But yes, Dave Kiawa and I are out here from Pennsylvania, fine wine and good spirits. And we're talking all about a variety of delicious, crisp summer wines, Dave. We are, Selena, and it's the perfect time to talk about summer sippers. Ooh. And we're going to start off today with one from Marlborough, New Zealand. It's the one you have in your hand. It comes to us from a vintner by the name of Dog Point, and nothing says summer like Sauvignon Blanc. I love it's it. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It has flavors of a little bit of grapefruit, some grassy oh. notes, and a little bit of lemon. So why don't you give that a sip? Oh. And we... I haven't met a wine that I haven't liked, though, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Well, what's beauty beautiful about this is picture this with a little bit of seafood on the grill. <gasps> It pairs beautifully with oh, that. It sounds really good. Now, if you're craving a wine that has just a little bit more texture and a little bit more body, I would suggest something like wine number two. And this comes to us from Clos de Val. Oh. This is a Chardonnay. And what's nice about this is it has been oaked and aged a little bit. So it has a little bit more of a buttery, toasty persona. So it has things mm. like apricot, a little bit of lemon on the front side of the palate. But then you taste that toasty oak on the back side of the palate. So when we think about pairings for this wine, we think things more Ooh. like uh, a grilled chicken mm -hmm. salad, some things that are a little bit more meaty. Yeah, I mean, I would take this with any type of food. Isn't that delicious? The grilled chicken salad, this is delicious. And it's one of our chairman's selections really great. this month. Oh, and I've been eyeing up the you one have. in the middle, the rosé, Dave. You, you have. So <laughs> when we talk about rosé, a lot of times in summer, it's rosé all day or a oh, great yes. day for rosé. And this comes to us from Languedoc, Roussillon, France, and it's from a vintner by the name of Jean-Claude Moss. And this wine is made from red skin grapes, Ooh. but what we do is we limit the skin contact with the wine, so it only gets just a slight bit of color. Now, what's beautiful about this wine is it does have some essences of slight tart red berries, mm -hmm. but it's more citral in its presentation. This is number one. This, I have to this say, this, one. this one is phenomenal. Now, pairings on this, I would pair it with salmon or, say, a grilled chicken salad. Well, you know, the rosés, the white wines are all great for summertime, but what if you're more of a red wine drinker? Exactly. So some people just love red wines, and they just want red wines. So in the summertime, a lot of times those heavy, bold red wines are just too much. So I would like to suggest something like this Highland Estates Pinot Noir. Mm. This comes to us from McMinnville, which is a sub-AVA, or American Viticultural Area, in the oh. Willamette Valley of Oregon. Now, what's beautiful about this is it comes across with a beautiful kind of candied cherry persona mm -hmm. with a little bit of baking spices in the background. You almost get a little bit of cinnamon and clove. I taste it. Yeah. I really do. It's really pretty. So oh. I would pour, uh, pair this with any type of pork product. Ah, I love mm -hmm. all of your tips and suggestions, Dave. Yes. And we and saved the best for last. We have saved the best for last. So <laughs> today's all about David Highfield, yes, of course. It is. And I even grew my David Highfield <laughs> beard just to it looks uh, so good. Just so I could look like my superhero David. <laughs> you um, look so handsome, Dave. I, oh, I brought say that. Bouve Clicquot, which is a champagne, and I wanted to provide oh, a toast for David they if said I could you please. look so handsome by the way, Dave. But yes, <laughs> it's time to cheers and so, toast. So David, I wanted to congratulate you on what has been an amazing 30 years. And in choosing this wine, I tried to find something that was as sparkling and as bubbly as your personality. So thank you for all the joy you've brought into our <laughs> living rooms every day for the past three decades. Cheers, thank David. That was Dave. beautiful. Cheers, David. Oh, thank you so much, Selena and Dave. That was so sweet <laughs> and so wonderful. 
Oh, wow. You know what? The, I love that we segment. We need to bring you the bottle. The bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, all right, now that's all I heard need. Because that's what I was saying. Like, you know, so you're outside with the wonderful steak, and she's outside with all the wine, but and it's all outside. Well, we have, we have videos to play for you, so we yeah. couldn't send you outside because then, you know, you no, missed those. It's fantastic. It really is. Yeah. And that was a great segment. So thank you to Dave and Selena.